Attack on Titan, 10 characters who didn't kill anyone. In a dog-eat-dog -dog world like the one of Attack on Titan, almost everyone's got blood on their hands. Not if they're killed first themselves. That is. Attack on Titan has a lot of great characters, but, even though fans become attached to them, they constantly die. From the very beginning of the manga, many characters were eaten by the Titans. As time passed and the protagonists, as well as the readers, learned more about Attack on Titan's world, characters killed each other, with the majority of the human race dying by the end of the series. However, there are some characters that never killed anyone throughout the entire manga, whether they were a peaceful person that didn't want to fight or simply died before they had the opportunity to strike down their enemies. 10. Carla was one of the first characters to die. Carla was Eren's mother and one of the first characters to die in the series. She was killed when the colossal titan invaded Shiganshina. With some of the debris from the wall he kicked landing on her house and crushing her. Eren and Mikasa tried to save her life, but she was eaten by a titan as Hannes rescued them. She never would have killed anyone and hated the idea of Eren joining the military. However, her death only gave him an even greater reason to become a soldier and get his revenge on the titans. 9. Thomas died before he could kill a titan. Thomas was a soldier from the 104th Cadet Corps who became close friends with Eren. When the colossal titan returned and attacked Trost. The two were in the same squad as Milius, NAC, Mina, and Armin. Thomas challenged Eren to see which of them could kill more titans, a competition that would end immediately after it began as Thomas was killed. Along with NAC, Mina, and Milius. Armin was almost eaten as well, but Eren was able to save him by sacrificing himself. Shortly after, he learned that he was a titan shifter. 8. Marco was killed by the warriors. Marco was another soldier from the 104th Cadet Corps who never killed anyone. He was seen as a great leader by his friends, and he could have joined the military police if he had survived the attack on Trost. However, he overheard Reiner and Bertholdt talking about how they were the armored and colossal titans. Once they found out that Marco was listening, the two of them, along with Annie, fed him to a titan. Marco begged them to let him go so they could talk things out, wanting to find a peaceful solution so nobody would have to die. 7. Nick was a minister who knew many secrets about parody. Though his religious beliefs caused him to keep secrets that could be considered to be responsible for some people's deaths. Minister Nick never actually killed anyone. When the Survey Corps learned that he knew that Titans were inside of parody walls, they tried to get more information out of him. Which led him and Hang to become friends. He even helped them figure out that Historia was Rod's daughter. However, for revealing too much, the military police killed him. 6. Marlo was killed by the Beast Titan in Shiganshina. When Marlowe was first introduced, he was a new soldier in the military police who had high hopes for it. However, once he understood that he couldn't make the impact he wanted to in that branch, he joined the Survey Corps. When they went to Shiganshina and fought against the warriors, the Beast Titan trapped them. Marlowe and the majority of the soldiers sacrificed their lives so they could distract him so Levi could kill him. Unfortunately, Levi wasn't able to defeat the Beast Titan. Marlowe and most of his comrades died without accomplishing anything. 5. Colt never killed anyone despite being chosen as an inheritor of the Beast Titan. Colt was the oldest warrior candidate who hadn't inherited one of the nine Titans when he was first introduced. He was expected to replace Zeke as the Beast Titan, meaning that Marley probably had a lot of faith that he'd be able to defeat many of their enemies. However, Colt was never actually seen killing anyone and died before he had the chance. When Falco accidentally drank some of Zeke's spinal fluid, 
Colt tried to save his younger brother. He asked Zeke to wait until Falco was far away enough to not be affected when he transformed the Eldians who drank his spinal fluid into Titans. Zeke refused to listen, however, and due to how close Colt was to Falco when he transformed, he died. 4. Nicolo was a cook who fell in love with Sasha. Nicolo was a Marleyan who went to parody and became a hostage until he started cooking for the Eldians and anti-Marleyan volunteers. He hated the Eldians at first, but, after getting to know Sasha, he started to understand that they weren't the devils he was led to believe they were. After Sasha died, he saved her friends from drinking Zeke's spinal fluid. And upon finding out that Gabby was her murderer, tried to kill her and Falco. However, Sasha's family and friends were able to stop him, and he never tried to kill anyone after that. 3. Kaya was Sasha's younger sister. Like Nicolo, Kaya had a close relationship with Sasha and wanted to avenge her death. When she was first introduced, she witnessed her mother get eaten and was saved by Sasha. She was then adopted by Sasha's father, making the two sisters. Kaya looked up to Sasha and cared a lot about her. A few years later, she met Gabby and Falco, not knowing who they were at the time, and wanted to help them. However, once she learned that Gabby was the one who shot Sasha, she tried to kill her but was stopped. Gabby ended up saving Kaya's life shortly after and the two understood that violence wasn't the answer to solving the problems between the Eldians and the rest of the world. 2. Willy was the head of the Tiber family. The members of the Tiber family were the inheritors of the Warhammer Titan and the only Eldians to be respected after the Great Titan War. Because of this, when Willy was born, it was easy for him to become friends with people all around the world. Knowing that the power of the Titans was starting to become irrelevant. Willy brought people that loved him from all around the world together in Marley. He gave them a speech, revealing the true role that his ancestors and Carl Fritz played in the Great Titan War and that they all had to unite in order to defeat Aaron, who ate him moments later. 1. Darius was the general of Parody Military. Though he was never seen fighting anyone, Darius was the leader of Parody entire military. Rather than battling Titans or protect the people in Parody, he had to make a lot of difficult decisions that impacted what the military did and worked very closely with the royal family. Because of how powerful he was, he was assassinated by the Yeagerists when Aaron overthrew Parody military. Though he probably had to kill a lot of titans in order to get as far as he did, this was never actually shown on screen. 